a timeless tribute to the sacrifices and contributions of our fallen heroes, the California Firefighters Memorial is a symbol of honor and reverence. Since its unveiling in 2002, our esteemed memorial has brought comfort to so many and a feeling of pride to all. From the statue's fallen brother, created by retired Sacramento Battalion Chief, Jesus Romo, and holding the line, designed by renowned artist Lawrence Allen Noble. The California Firefighters Memorial captures the compassion and courage of every frontline firefighter. At the heart of the California Firefighters Memorial is its massive wall that embraces the lives of our brave men and women who sacrificed all. Over 1,000 names are inscribed on our memorial wall. Firefighters who died in the line of duty, dating all the way back to 1850, upon the inception of the great state of California. To honor their last and final alarm, a set of turnouts forever remain. Signifying the presence of our fallen brothers and sisters will always be with us. We will never forget. Beginning the day's event, California Professional Firefighters and the California Fire Foundation hosted a special breakfast for the families of their loved ones. Over the years, this tradition has become a welcomed setting for family and friends to share stories and memories of our fallen. In the wake of yet another devastating fire season, California gathered to honor its fallen. Hundreds of firefighters and family members assembled at the California Firefighters Memorial in Sacramento's Capitol Park. Here, in a ceremony steeped in fire service tradition, they paid tribute to 16 of the state's fallen heroes. Your loved ones are joining the other 1,300 brothers and sisters as an eternal monolith for all to see that a life with purpose and sacrifice is never to be forgotten. The people of California are keeping their memory alive by having their names etched upon these walls, thanking them forever for their sacrifice. We grieve with you and we thank you on behalf of the people of the state of California because you have sacrificed on behalf of others who may never meet you people who may never know your name, but whose lives have forever been improved because of the sacrifice you and your loved ones have made. When we hear of a firefighter who dies in the line of duty, it touches something inside of us. We mourn their passing even though we did not know them. But for you, it's a jarring experience and a deeply personal loss. Fire Captain Vince Wells knows this loss all too well. This year, honoring the memory of his fallen friend and fellow firefighter, Captain Richard Voisey. My feelings today are mixed. Rich and I have escorted several families to this ceremony. Today, I come to add his name to this wall. I know my friend would be proud to have his name on this wall, along with all the loved ones that you have come here to honor. Silence comes in waves and it drowns me. I smile remembering your words, then it hurts me. I blur, you're too far, so I close them and go to where you are. Where you are, and make a wish on a falling star, take me to the one where you are. And The heart of the ceremony is the presentation of an American flag to the families, a simple gesture that says, we will never forget. Daniel Scully, Vallejo Fire Department.
Frank Earl Troutman, Jr., Cal Fire. William Marsh, San Rafael Fire Department. James Horton, Los Angeles County Fire. Craig Nielsen, San Diego Fire Rescue. Oran Shadon, San Diego Fire Rescue. John P. Ellis, Cal Fire. Pete Santana, Cal Fire. Rennie E. Leroy, Cal Fire. Stephen A. Wilson, Cal Fire. Stephen G. Lloyd, Cal Fire. <laughs> Jeffrey Craig Hunt, Cal Fire. Norman R. Nelson, San Diego Fire Rescue. Tracy Robert Cumenti, Roseville Fire Department. Thomas Eustace John, Salinas Fire Department. Richard John Boise, 
Pinole Fire Department. The first name on the California Firefighters Memorial is that of James Welsh, a San Francisco firefighter who paid the ultimate price in 1851. In Brother Welsh's time, firefighters were called to service by the ringing of a bell. It was the bell that signaled the beginning of that day's new shift. Throughout the day and night, each alarm was sounded by a bell, which summoned these brave souls to fight the fire. When the fire was out, it was a bell that signaled to all the completion of that call. And when a firefighter had died in the line of duty, paying the supreme sacrifice, it was the mournful toll of the bell that announced a comrade's passing. Much has changed in the 160 years, but the traditions of our profession survive. These traditions reflect the honor and respect for those who have given so much and who have served so well. As a tribute to their courage and sacrifice, we ring the last alarm, a special signal of three rings, three times each. It represents the end of our comrades' duties and that they're returning to quarters. As it was for Brother Welsh when our state was new, we honor our fallen brothers for their selfless devotion to duty with their last alarm. Their duties well done, they are going home. Uniform personnel, hunt 10, hunt! Freeze it, hunt! It was very emotional, very moving. You never know what's going to really touch your heart, but there were so many times during this memorial that I broke down and cried. It's a blessing to the family. You can have a place where you can go visit the dead, but this is a place where you see many other names and you realize how many have died. Well, I think it helps bring closure to the families to know that their loved ones didn't die in vain and that they can come back here. I felt like the memorial helped me start to feel more about the grieving, grieving for my husband and processing more about how our, our lives have changed and help us move forward. It's really um, very touching and it's just such a wonderful tribute to be able to have a place where he will always be remembered. It brings back home to all firefighters how sacred life is and how important service is and how important duty and honor are. And so these are wonderful days, not only because we celebrate the lives of our brothers and sisters, but also because as firefighters, we remember who we are and what we do for a living. Do 